Well, today on Turf Business TV, I'm joined by uh, Peter and Warren from Liverpool and Matteo from uh, Marseille. Uh, they're all in Liverpool, but different locations. Uh, we'll start with you, Peter. Peter, you're at the AXA training ground, I think, aren't you? Yeah, we're at the AXA training ground, the first team side, the Kirby. Kirby. And Warren, you're at Anf Anfield, are you? I'm at Anfield today, yeah. Okay, lovely. So um, we've got you all together. Um, and the reason we're here is for Matteo here. Um, you're over on a Brad's placement. So uh, you're over from Marseille. Um, so first off, is it your first trip to, to the UK? Uh, that was my first trip, yes, in the UK. So, uh, and you ended up in Liverpool? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so has it been raining or has it been okay, the weather? No, no, it's okay. Okay. So first impressions of uh, Liverpool in the UK, then what's, what's the experience been like? Uh, at the beginning, I was scared about the accent. <laughs> we all are as well, don't you? It's, not... <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I like the cold as well. You said, didn't you? Yeah, the, the weather. weather. Yes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not quite the south of France. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Kirby. different than the south of France. <laughs> um, let's explain. And so you're over on a, a Brad's placement. And for people that don't know, Brad's is a, a scheme of of being able to put people from different venues to have some experience with maybe a different type of surface or even a different sports surface. Um, Warren and Peter, you very kindly got on board with this with the, with the help of Scott from uh, Natural Grass and who looks after the Marseille Stadium there. First off, how's the experience been? Let's start with, with you, Peter. I think you've been you know, involved with, uh, with this from the start. Yeah, so um, it's gone quite smoothly, to be fair. Um, I think Scott's organising every, everything from the tail over in, um, from his accommodation and setting it up with Warren while he's been away. Everything's run smoothly, so my part's been easy. I've just given him a few jobs to do, and he's, and he's loving it. Okay, and, and Warren, how, how have you found it? Because you've, you've both been involved with the, with the process, haven't you? Yeah, to be honest, I was made up with it. I, I think from, from our side of things, we're lucky that our lads get the chance to go and work abroad. So from our team, we do pre-season every year and we go to different yep. places in the world all the time. So the idea and the concept for me is brilliant because we see that, we do that every year. So Peter worked in Singapore last year. Uh, lads have worked in Evian, Austria, all places across the world. And you always benefit from it. You always find some ways people do things better, do things differently, and you, you swap ideas and stuff. So as soon as you heard about the placements, I just thought it was a really good thing to do, um, if we can accommodate it then. And it's run really smoothly. The, the, Scott, we just spoke with Scott on the phone, um, sorted out the accommodation. Scott told us he was a good lad as well when he was coming over. So, uh, and it turned out to be that. He's been really good, really good. So your first experience, I think, was a match day, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, Jurgen Klopp's last match at, uh, at Anfield. That must be. Yes, Warren uh, invited me for for the last match, and that was good. So, were you working that day, or were you just a spectator? Um, I worked, but uh, I um, watched more than the I worked. <laughs> <laughs> so, atmosphere-wise, was it a, a very different set setup to what you're ex used to? Um, in Marseille, uh, yes, it's a little bit different, but uh, I like the twice uh, in the on field. Um, there is a good ambience, and the pitch is already good. Uh, also, so Matteo, did you like the atmosphere when when the cop were all singing um, that iconic song "You'll Never Walk Alone"? Um, did that feel? Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. In, in Marseille, we got a similar um, thing, song, yeah. song of fans, but uh, this one is very particular. Okay. So, what have you learned then? What what different things have you been doing that you wouldn't do necessarily at Marseille? Mm, for the technical part, I think uh, we did um, the same things, but there is some details who make the differences. Uh, and like for example, uh, in the stadium and in the training center, they got um, uh, sensor uh, oh, probes. Yes, yeah, probe sensors. Yeah, 
and okay. we don't get, we don't have that in France, and that makes a difference. That and that is very good. Um, so I think one of the reasons that Scott particularly wanted you to come over was to experience the renovation of a hybrid surface. So was that something that was interesting, surprising, or you know how how did that go? What did you learn from that? Yes, yes, uh, it was very interesting for me because I never see a, a renovation on hybrid pitch, and that's great, and I learned a lot about this, and that is very good for me. Warren, have you noticed from what Matteo has been saying, you where there are any differences or similarities between what he's doing down in Marseille and, and what you're doing? Yeah, I'd say mostly the, the construction of the pitches. I think that's the that's the biggest difference there. He, we do differently, so um, it was great for them to see a renovation of a of a stitched hybrid. Um, at Anfield, we have a hybrid carpet, so I don't think they use them across in France as well. Also, yeah. so I think they're the main differences in terms of cultural practices and things like that. You know, Bertie Jane and Spike and uh, use of machine and he likes cylinder and Honda mowers and rotary mowers and stuff like that. I think it's mostly the same. Um, it's just about how you do it, the amount of staff that you have. Um, nutrition and monitoring nutrition, moisture and things like that. I think collecting data may have been one of the differences. I, I would say that maybe we do a bit more here than, than they do in France. Um, and Peter, I mean, have you had him doing anything different to what he would normally do? Um, not really. Um, he's, you've, you've been on a pro call, haven't you, that you've never used before. So aeration, he's done a little bit. Um, We've, we've we've also got a carpet system that's the same as Anfield on a small mini pitch that we right. renovated in house. And um, he saw some processes on there. We used the Moreto um, and then we first cut it with the Dennis units. So most of the most of the techniques we used were similar. Um, I think the most I think he's most impressed with the probes that we have, the sensors like 10 centimetres, 20 and 30, and have different moistures. And then um, we get an email every day to, you know, and, and I think you took most out of that, haven't you? Yes, to collect the data. And collect the data. Yeah. So, Matteo, good. You can tell that from the smile on your face. That says everything. Uh, take it you'd like to do it again at, at some point and maybe somewhere different if you got the opportunity? Yes. I think. Oh, okay. And overall then, what would you go for? Liverpool or Marseille? I mean, you've got to think the whole picture here. Climate, football, <laughs> work environment. If I take just um, for the work, uh, I think Liverpool. Uh, but uh, there is so many options, I don't. Diplomatic answer. <laughs> And I won't ask you if you're going to try and poach him because that will put an end to my relationship with Scott, I think. But, um, <laughs> He's welcome back anytime. Right? That's what we'll say. Is there anything else you, don't, you, don't, you think you've gained or not gained or would like to do differently? No, everything was good. What, in terms of us as well working, the staff? Because that's one thing you picked up on, isn't it? We have more staff. Yes, yes. That's make this is the, the one difference that's uh, in the training center. You got more pitch, and already you got more staff to work on the pitch. And in Marseille, in in France, we don't have uh, an house pitch and an house uh, staff. Also, we don't work uh, maybe with the same practice, pra practice, practice yeah. but. Uh, Finally, we we can arrive at maybe the same thing. But and do you think uh, another big difference is the the work life cult, the work life balance uh, in France? Is the work life balance different to what you're seeing the guys doing in in Liverpool? Uh, not more time, but um, maybe more intense because we we get um, more squad who training on one pitch. And also, we, we don't have uh, uh, big breaks or, uh, or many breaks like yeah. <laughs> So, one thing you said when it was cold was, um, I see why you have a cup of tea now. <laughs> 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 when he was pissed, wet through. <laughs> <laughs> 
And, and what about the lunch break then? Because you're used to, what, two, two and a half hours in France, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> Nobody thinks we get longer. You say you, you yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he well, said, that's that rumour scotched then. They, they finish at four o'clock as well, don't we? Yes. So they don't have as long, so they finish at four. He has sampled Liverpool Town Centre though as well. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. And was that a positive or a negative experience? Good or bad? That was good. That, that Was that a night out? Yeah, he went on the night out, didn't he? <laughs> uh, no. He went, he went in the day. Yes, on the day. I was a bit concerned that everyone was drunk by six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> was that Monday then? It was, uh, it was Saturday <laughs> when the FA Cup final was on and it, it was oh, two right, teams okay. that no one would have been supported in Liverpool. So you were all out drowning your sorrows, yeah? Guys, thanks again for you know putting this together for us. Um, also, thanks for taking time out to talk to us on, on TV here or thanks for taking time to talk to us on camera here today. I know you're busy. You're in the middle of kind of renovating and I think you had to run off and get some some uh, supplies today, didn't you, Warren, from St. Helens? So uh, we're running around. So, um, Matteo, lovely to meet you. Um, from what I've heard about you, you've, you've been an absolute asset to the guys there from what I've been, been hearing. Um, I know Scott rates you highly as well. I, otherwise, I guess he wouldn't risk sending you off to Pastures New to have a look and see what uh, the world is like elsewhere and bring back that experience. So we wish you the best of luck with your career and hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon. And Warren, Peter, hope to catch up with you guys real soon as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.